Knives are cool. And axes too. Hello everybody, Robert Breaker here from Knives Are Cool and Axes 2 channel. And today I'd like to talk about Pucos. Have you ever heard of a Puko knife? P-U-U-K-K-O, Pucos. And uh, Pucos are the kind of knife that helped me get into knives more. I told you a long time ago that my first knife was this one. Um, my grandpa gave me one just like it, an old timer. And this was my pocket knife that I carried. I lost it in my car. <laughs> And that car is long gone. So somewhere in the back seat of that car is this knife somewhere. And then later, this was a carry knife that I carried, the old uh, Schrade. I actually found one that's serrated the whole way. Ugly, ugly. Don't like that. Mine didn't have the Schrade. But uh, these were the knives that got me into knives. But there was one other thing that got me more into knives, and that was Pucos. And I just really like a Puko. And I talked about the J. Martinini knife that I got and uh, how that one got me into studying more about knives that are pukos from Finland and Norway and uh, Sweden. So this is um, going to be about puko knives and what exactly are puko knives you might be asking. Well puko is Finnish for knife. <laughs> Duh. It is deeply rooted in Scandinavian countries where the knife is both tool and art form. In fact the puko plays an important part in Nordic culture. And so it's not just a knife, it is more of part of the culture. And it is the historical symbol, especially in Finland and Northern Scandinavia. So picture this, guys out on the farm and they're working on the farm in those places, they would always carry a knife here on their uh, belt. And some would have one that was one way, some a different way, some would have maybe something carved in it like this one. And uh, when I began to learn about Puko knives, I began to think, man, those are cool. And that's what made me want to get more into knives. It has to do with their culture. And what's sad today is to think about how they're, they're trying to take away knives from people in countries all over the world. No, you can't carry a knife anymore. Oh, why don't you just take our culture then, why don't you? This is a cultural thing. And the knives are a tool. Why would they want to take away their tools? But I really started getting more into knives when I started to learn more about Pukos. And this is a, one of the first ones I got. And this is a Helle, H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, from Norway. And it is a small little knife. You can see how nicely made this is. And it's a small skinner. And it has the little clasp on the back. And this is where they would just tie it around their belt. And you would take it out. And it's just a small little tiny skinner. <laughs> Helle, I don't know if you can read that, but it's a Helle. And this is tiny, and it's a sand mai, as a lot of European knives are, which means two different kinds of steel on the outside, different on the inside. And when I got this, I thought, man, that, that is neat. Well, it says here, in what is a Puko knife? I got this off the internet. Rich history aside, Pukos are first and foremost solid work knives. So this is a solid work knife. This is for skinning, basically. You can totally tell that's for skinning a deer or an elk or something. But it says that uh, many men in the country take great pride in how they carve their knives handle. So it's ingrained in the culture that the Finnish Defense Forces don't issue a standard knife to its soldiers. Uh, simply men bring their own Puko knives with them. And you want yours to be different than the other guys so you can recognize it. So some guys would do this. This is called the grouse. Some would do a fox, some another thing. Also you would make some beautiful um, leather sheaths in such a way that you have a design on it that's distinctively, hey, this is my knife. So that got me into Pucos. I could read a lot of this, but I won't. But um, Puko knives are pretty cool and how the sheaths are as well. So a Puko knife all over Europe. If you went to Norway or Sweden or um, Finland, you, you would find shops where they sell different Puko knives. And you can go through and try to pick one out. But this website that I printed up all this was talking about different Puko knives. And it mentions tops as one of the knives. And we have some tops. Here's one of them they call a Puko knife. And I've got that one. That's bench made. Uh, America wants to come in and, and uh, corner the market, I guess. So a bench made said, hey, we want to make some Pukos too. And this is the bench made Puko, uh, bench made 200. And they did okay. A lot of the Puko knives sheaths are very, very, very just simple and plain. Just one piece of leather folded in half. And uh, this is the American Puko. 
and it's got a little place here for a fire starter as well. So you've got a lot of Pucos. Uh, this page here talks about Martini. There's a finish style one, but then they mention Martini. And Martini, why well, I've got a couple Martini Pucos here, and I've, I guess I've already showed them to you. They're just simple, plain design shape knives. Sometimes they have a little bell and whistle, like this one's the grouse. Hey, let's got a turkey on there for some reason. But uh, sometimes the sheath is on the back, it's uh, sewn together. They actually have a picture of the bushcraft. Well, I've got that one. And this would be styled as a Puco Martini bushcraft. And look, little designs and things like that. Here in the back it says Martini, Finland. So I just like these knives. They're just simple work knives, but they also they, they have a little bit of a, a little design to them. And a lot of times so people can say, hey, that's mine, and they can distinguish it. This is Condor. Condor. Uh, I actually got a Condor here. And Condor is from El Salvador. And uh, El Salvador makes some amazing, amazing knives. So this is a Puco style knife from El Salvador. It's called the Condor. Boy, is it sharp. Beautiful little knife. And like again, a Puku is usually going to have a very plain, simple sheath, like a taco, like bend it over and just sewn. So Pucos are pretty cool. I like a Puco. And uh, I actually went to Acapulco. No, no, that's Acapulco. Sorry, different place. So I wanted to show you some examples of some Puco knives. So if you would, let's zoom down here and let's just go and look through each one of these. And uh, I'll just explain them to you. Again, the first one I got is this one right here. And I got this, I think, at an estate sale. And I just thought, that is a neat knife. And I had to learn more about it. I really liked how they shaped the sheath and everything. And it says on it, Hele, on this side. Hele, Norway. Stainless. Or does that say stainless? It's so small I can't read it, what it says on the bottom, but I think it says stainless. And then on the other side, it says D-I-S, whatever that means. But what a neat little knife. What a neat little knife, and especially how it fits so well in the sheath, and then it clasps on top, so there's no chance that you're going to lose that. Well, I started looking into those, and I found one online. Now, a lot of my knives I don't like to show because I don't want people to think, hey, that guy's rich. Look at all the knives he has. Well, I wish I was rich, but I'm not. A lot of these knives are waiting till Black Friday and buying them for cheaper or getting them in estate sales or garage sales or getting them from a dealer who says, hey, I'll give you a solid deal on this for real cheap so you can put it on your channel and things like that. But this is Heli. Heli is from Norway, okay? Martini is in Finland. Heli is in Norway. Falcon even is Sweden. And I like those brands from those different countries. And this is cool. This is how they sell you a knife from Norway. And this is the Alden model. And what's kind of cool is they have a little map here in Norway. Well, we make it right here along the coast. So I got this one one day on sale because it's what they call a blemish. And they said it was blemished. And so I got it for way cheap because it was blemished. But to me, it's not much of a blemish. It's blemished because they said, well, the varnish didn't go on well on the birch wood. Only covered half, not the other half, so they sold it. I don't care. I mean, that, that means nothing to me. But this is a Hele Alden. And it is just, wow, it's, it's well made, it's a good handle. Um, it is, I believe, San Mai, so it would be two different kites of steel on both sides that are the softer steel and the harder steel in the middle. And it's just a plain, simple knife, you know, a plain, simple sheath. And they're just beautiful, just beautiful. And uh, I just really like European style knives, so I like that one. And so there's a lot of them out there. and. Certainly Martini is the style that many people know and if you'll remember I did my first video I believe was on Martini and how he was a Lutheran minister and I read his book and me being a Baptist pastor I read his book I said wow there's some good stuff in there. A lot of them uh, over in Europe the Puku knives are birch wood and so this is a Martini. Now Rapala bought Martini but they still make things under the name of Martini and put Martini's name on them as well. So that's pretty cool. We got this one here, this is the Condor. And so this is the El Salvador take on a Puco. Very, very simple design on this sheath. And very nice handle, that feels very good in your, in your hand. Here's a Martini, a very beautiful Martini. Um, this one I got at a show, a friend gave it to me for pretty cheap. And I just like everything about it, but it's just a plain, simple knife. 
but it's so, so sharp. So I really like Pucos. I don't know if anyone ever heard of a Puco, but Pucos are cool. I guess for us Americans, uh, our Puco, which would be your everyday farmer's knife, basically, would be a buck knife like that one. It's a beautiful, beautiful buck knife. And it's, it's gorgeous. And so it's a beautiful buck knife and this is a 191 and you see how beautiful that is how beautiful they make these um, here's your martini look how he did this beautiful little red stripes in there um, I just like plain simple knives that are utilitarian but also have to do with with style and things like that so Puko is pretty cool here's the American take on a Puko right here a benchmade Puko it's 3v still and uh, they have kind of a fake snake style. And some people like these, some people don't. Some people don't like the, the plain, simple leather design. I think they're pretty cool. Now this one here, maybe you've seen this before. This is a Tereva Skrama. Tereva Skrama. This comes from Varusta Leka. One of my favorite websites in the whole world is Varusta Leka. And it is, I don't even remember, Norway or Sweden or Finland. It might be Finland, one of those countries army surplus store i'll have to put that down in the in here where you can go to their website and they sell this this is a beautiful beautiful thing here and uh, it's not a puko it's more of like a machete it's got a different grind from here back for feathering which is pretty amazing but they do sell one this is the tereva skrama this is a tereva and i don't even know how to pronounce the rest of it and it's just a plain little puko knife plain simple but sharp as it can be and just a plain little thing. So, Pucos to me are cool. Here's a K-Bar. It is not a Puko, <laughs> but uh, for a K-Bar fighting knife, they made it really small, like a blade for a Puko. So I found that pretty amazing as well. So this is pretty cool. I wanted to show you these kind of style of knives, Pucos. See if you like a Puko. I found this one the other day. This is an Anza, A-N-Z-A, Anza knives, made out of a file. And this is kind of a baby Puko, I guess. Oh, but this is actually made out of horn it looks like which is kind of neat so have you ever heard of pucos i like a puco and uh i never went to acapulco but i went to acapulco once but these are your puco knives if you've got a puco let us know if you like puco knives let us know we'd love to hear about it and uh, pucos are cool and they really got me more into knives because i just like the european style and things like that so thanks for watching i guess we'll see you next time and we'll talk more about other European knives as well. And then maybe get back into some American knives also. But I really like these European styles. And I really like Pucos. So, God bless. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Knives are cool. And axes too. Bullseye.